Alright, welcome back to a yet another Portal 2 tutorial. Well, this actually should be applied to the Source Engine, but I'll just stick with Portal 2 since uh, that's what I'm using. What I'm going to do today is show you how to mess with time. In game. I'm going to cover physics time the, for the simulations, the host time for the entire game, and then a little combination of both to mess with the player. First thing I want to do is place a cube. Doesn't really matter where, but closer to the player, easier to get to. Next, I want a button. Or more specifically, three buttons. And for those of you who don't know, I am shift, left click dragging to duplicate entities. I'm going to select all three. Give them a five second delay. I haven't played a timer sound, although you guys won't hear it, my speakers are off. And prevent a fast reset so the button will stick. Next, I want a server command entity. Right, let's go ahead and slap that in there. I'll give the very original name of server commander. Not supreme commander. Fun game, but a little of scope here. So, the first button, this one is going to mess with time. Pressed, server commander, command. The command will be the console command. Fizz, time scale, 0.5. That'll slow everything down, or the physics simulations, down by a half. That makes it. And when the button resets, I'm going to have it return to normal. So we'll scale it by half. We'll probably leave it. We'll scale it by half. Now, I take these, copy them, and paste them over here. Now, I'm going to change this fizz timescale to host timescale. Something important to note is that host timescale is a cheat. Fizz timescale is not. So, in order to get this to work, I will need to delay this command ever so slightly and then turn on cheats immediately and turn them off after I'm done. I'm going to go on game real quick to show you what those two do. I do believe the new compiling tools are a bit faster since the uh, DLC2 update. Perpetual testing initiative. So, take this cube, toss it in the air. Cool. I jump. Same time. Now I'm going to turn on the time scale for the physics simulation. And now the button's back. And there you go. Next, the middle button for the entire game. There's the cheats, and you notice I am actually affected by this, and once the button resets, I shall press it again. Or, yep. Okay. Take this up, jump, let go, and we fall at the same pace. Uh, you could press both buttons at once. One, two, and uh, everything's really slow. Alright. So that's kind of basic, just physics within the player, but turning on cheats is probably not a good idea. Fortunately, there's an entity for that. Logic time scale. This one's fun. <laughs> Truly it is. Give it a name, time scaler. Uh, you can actually blend time here, so you can go from normal time to your desired time scale, but I'm not going to touch that right now. So, what I'm going to do is... Actually... 
paste a couple of things in. So once the button is pressed, set my desired time scale to, well, one half. Why not? Stick with the same number. I forgot to change the selected editing. There we go. And when it's done, change it back to one. Actually, I'll open up the properties of this real quick. Changes the server time scale. So, this should act just like host time scale minus the cheating. Should. Kind of winging this at the moment. The first two are easy. This one is pretty cool. And I. Uh, never really used it much. So, give it a moment. Okay, let's bring the cube over. Press the button. Alright. And if I open up the console, cheats are off. And I'm still being slowed down. Well, that's pretty nice. But, I'm going to go ahead and emulate the first uh, button. Though, actually, to show why I want to do that, I'm going to put in a turret. I'm getting a portal too. So let's see here, if I run this field of view, pretty quick on the draw. Press the first button. Really quick on the draw. Second button. Hi. Okay, now the third button. Let's let him go back to his idle. Press. So that'll get you by turrets quicker, but you still move slow. So, what I'm going to do now is use another entity. Speed mods. I think it's going to be a bigger pink blob. Yes! Well, it's red right now. There. Bigger, pinkish purple blob. Block. Uh, player speed. And this does exactly what it says on the tin. Which modifies the player velocity. Well, speed. Over time. So you can speed them up, slow them down. Or in this case, I'm going to use the speed mod to double the player's speed, which, when given the host timescale is halved, will make their speed normal while everything else around them is slowed down. So, go over here, open it up, copy these. Change their target. Modify speed. Uh, one. Yep. And on this one, modify speed. Two. So. And the desired time scale is halved. I double the player speed and do the math. It brings you back back to one. Do we need to do the math? It's kind of forgiven. Now, I'm pop this open. Put it. We're going at what about nine minutes ten seconds? Should be well within the fifteen minute time limit. No, I haven't found new screen recording software. Probably won't. What I have works. Oop, that portal's open. <laughs> okay, now I press this button. I'm moving at a normal speed. Everything else is not. And now we're back to normal. Press it again. Oh, that was pathetic. Cube to the face. Didn't really knock him over. But yeah, that's pretty much it. 
Fluid on physics. I should have started with the turret. It's much more fun. Slow down everything with cheats. Probably not recommended. Or slow down everything and then speed up the player without cheats. And you can get really wacky with the player speed mod if I were to mess with the player speed. Uh, I'm going to set it manually with the console to 5. And then forward. Ah, wait. Modify speed. Helps if you add the input. And there you go. I am now going really quickly. Crosses it at the point five. So some things for you to play with. And with that, uh, if you have any problems, let me know. And actually, eleven twenty-two. Meh, not bad. See you later.